<laughs> I'm so tired. Ugh, went for a run this morning. I think it really took it out of me. It was only two miles, but it was so cold. I'm in a bit of a mood right now. It's snowing outside today. It's April and it's snowing in Chicago. I'm pissed. <laughs> the groundhog said it was supposed to be beautiful and he lied. I always say, Spring is my least favorite season in Chicago because I don't want the weather to be bad and it is winter. I expect it to be what it is. Spring, I'm over it. Anyways, I'm just genuinely excited for today. Number one, we're leaving right now because I'm gonna go donate blood. One of my friends from college who lives in the city donates blood like all the time. And she was like, you should come with me sometime. So I'm donating blood today. I haven't donated blood since the pandemic and I sometimes get a little sicky afterwards, but we'll see how this one goes. After that, we have a fun lunch planned. And then, you know when you move into a new place and you have to get all the little random shit that you didn't have for that current place. You order it all and like it doesn't really feel like home until it all arrives. Today it all arrives. So we have like my desk set up should be coming. My chairs don't come yet, but my desk will be here. And like our rug. I want to move around some of our lamps. I want to move around our mirror. It's time to just go from like living in this apartment to living in this apartment. You know what I mean? Anyways, first things first, nothing can happen until I go save a life and donate blood. You know what? I donated stem cells and that shit was hard. And honestly, if I can donate stem cells, donating one thing of blood should be no problem because stem cells, that's a tough one. Now I feel so much better about this. I'm going to be fine. Let's go. Whoa. Is that allowed? Is that allowed on YouTube? successfully been donated. Also, I found out I'm a different blood type than I thought I was. This whole time I thought I was like a basic blood type and I'm not. So that was good. I ate my snacks. If you've ever donated blood afterwards, you know they have like the best snacks. So I had Cheez-Its and like a lemon biscotti thing. And I'm trying to drink water. I am a... I am a perpetually dehydrated human. I am just not one of those people who like reaches for a water bottle ever. I feel totally fine though. Like I would definitely donate blood more often. I don't know, I thought it would affect me more than it did. We'll see how I feel in a few hours, but right now I'm chilling. We are now heading up to Lincoln Park. I have a restaurant collaboration with this noodle place. Oh my God, it looks so good. I'm so excited. They're like known for like chewy noodles like Asian style noodles. All of their noodles look so good. So I'm very, very much looking forward to this. So let's go get some nudes. You say you wanna make it happen. You know what I want. Don't try to fight the heavens. Good girls aren't the one. I'm a flower and a bloom. Like a shower. Tell me what we're getting. Some sort of hot and sour noodles. Mm -hmm. Some dumplings. Okay. Some crispy golden pork strips. Okay. Tempting bonbon chicken. Ooh. A tofu bean curd. Ooh. A barbecue pork ribs. Yum. Beef and veggie mixed hot pot. Okay. Glass noodle hot pot. Okay. And spicy beef noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Is this gonna be enough? <laughs> Take it slow. You the type of dime I'm really trying to get to know. If it's cool with you, maybe we can hit the show. I can take you places you ain't know you want to go. Baby girl, slow it down before you catch the
Claire, it's raining. I'm mad. I want to go to bed. This vlog is turning into me just being miserable about this weather. Oh, it's raining harder. Lunch was super good though. That was very like unique type of Chinese food. It was like Szechuan style. It was really good and really unique. And some of those noodles, those black noodles and those flat wide noodles were so delicious and chewy. And I'm a chewy noodle girl. So that was very fun. Heading back home now. I'm about to take a fat nap. Tonight, let's set up all the fun things in our apartment. I'm so excited. I don't care. The moment we have all been waiting for, the moment I specifically have been waiting for all day. I'm home. I'm home. And I don't have to leave again today. It's my favorite part of the day. We've got some packages. We've got some things. And I want to get our apartment set up a little bit. I'm very excited for a desk. I've had to work from the couch. My tea is ready. But I've had to work from the couch since we moved in. And I've had so many video calls. And, you know, a video call from the couch just isn't as professional as from a desk. Xander, fluff. Yeah. Look, his hair is cut again. And there's a mustache. Should we start with the rug or the desk? The or just take, let's just get all the boxes done. Out of the box, out of the box. Of Did days. you know that my voice coach, because I used to do singing, was the girl from Out of the Box? Yeah. Pop her little photo up here. Vivian, you taught me when I was five. Out of the box. Okay, yeah. He says, this is great. I will help and I will sit right here. Thank you, Lulu. You're very helpful. First things first. So I want to move fridge over to its rightful home. It has wheels. Why would they create a fridge on wheels? Yeah. Ow, my toes. What do you think? Is she cute? I love this fridge. Next up, should we do the rug? Louis is helping. You're very cute. You are. A cookie, a vlog, because Bonnie loves... Oh, that one's for you, Bonnie. Let's do the rug. After a long debacle of moving the whole dresser to put the carpet down, I'm now seeing the carpet and I think it looks a little bit like Christmas and I think I want to switch it out for a black one. Black. White and black checkers. Cause our kitchen's kind of white and black. My desk is going to be black. The chairs are white and black. Oh. I will live with it for a day. I think I'll probably live with it for two days and then see how I feel. But in this moment, I'm like, mm, we're feeling a little Christmassy. Uh, I feel like it's like a Christmas party over here. I feel like I'm the elf on the shelf. Hey, you know what? I don't think it looks good at all. I don't either. I thought the checkers would be like a fun little funky moment. It also just might be the wrong size. Maybe the rug fits like space-wise fine, but I really hate the red. I think maybe black and white checkers. I don't want something plain. I wanted something funky. All right, should we build the desk and see how that looks behind the couch? Let's do it. And then we can make further decisions from there. Cool. I have updates. <laughs> After measuring the area approximately 42 different times, I realized that the only size rug that will like essentially work for this is gonna be a five by eight, which is kind of annoying. Ideally, it would have been like a seven by eight, so we had enough like space here, but seven by eight rugs don't exist. So we're gonna like squish it in slightly. Kathy came over and looked at it and she called the rug, this current rug a loincloth because it's like long and skinny in this space. It's so bad, I hate this. I also ended up ordering like a tan checkered rug where the checkers go all the way to the edge and it has like a thicker ply. So I think that that'll look better as well. I just think overall this is going to be the move. I will say though, my little desk setup, I'm quite thrilled with this. I think it's perfect. I think I want to push the couch all the way up to the edge here. This little gap is bothering me and then this can come with it and that'll also help with the five by eight. Anyways, this is like perfect. My chairs arrive on Friday, so it'll be nice, but there's space down here for me to put like important things. Uh, no, no pause on the desk. Okay, thank you. And then this is charging ports. And that's so nice because I can just leave all of the chargers in there. AirPod Maxes. Goodbye. Laptop. Boom. That's all I need. I just need a space to be able to have a proper chair and sit at my computer and like 
do my work. I think this is perfect. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, it's great. I think it's great. It's awesome. And it, there's two spots, so like, I don't know, if someone wanted to come over and work with me, like someone on my team or something like that, if we wanted to sit and have like dinner and at a table, I don't know that we'd ever do that, but I don't know. I'm really, really, I'm happy with this piece. I did something dumb, even dumber than this rug. <laughs> Ugh, guys, training for the half marathon. I probably should not have run four miles this morning since donating blood yesterday. Like, I never felt lightheaded. I didn't feel more exhausted than I do on a normal daily basis. Running this morning was horrible. Like, that sucked. That was my worst run to date. Still just, like, exhausted from it. Like, I feel like crap. So that was stupid of me, and I'm mad at myself for doing it. Say lovey. We live and we learn. Anyways, it's the next day. I'm wearing this very cute dress from Run the Runway. Louis so small. I don't want to get up right now, and I have to get up. I'm going to a broker's tour, and I'm really, really excited for this one. This is a brand new building. It might be a hard hat tour, even. It might still be under construction in West Loop. So love going to these and being able to see, like, the brand new things that hit the market. So much fun, and it's so cool to see, like, like, what are the new buildings doing to be like innovative and set themselves apart from the previous ones? But right now, I'm sat on my couch with my dog and I just want to stay here, but I need to be a big girl and get up and leave. Go. <laughs> I wish I had a stunt double. What if I told you that it cannot get better than this? Every time that I think about it, I just think about all 